CVA's Acura Series, Vergara Barrels for guaranteed accuracy, Nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. All right, welcome back everyone. This week's Preacher of the Week is being brought to you by Flowers Garden Center. Hey, by the way, Saturday, they're on the It's the big public. day. It's the big day That's for right. flowers. And all us guys can get in good uh, standing with the girls. Better get home from home early Saturday and go, <laughs> go get some flowers. What do you got? Lord, what hey, belly. this is a good fish right here. This this is my buddy Joe Sanders. He sent me this picture a couple days ago in that rain. And, he, you know, he fishes all the creeks all the time. Yeah. He's a creek fisherman. Yeah. Uh, got a little kayak. That's as much boat as he uses. And that's a four-pound plus large mouth that he caught the other day. I don't remember the ounces he was telling me on it, but that is a nice a fish nice out of the one. creek right there. So congratulations on that one, Joe. That looks like me on the, right <laughs> after a meal. <laughs> and this here, you might recognize this fellow. This is our buddy Chris Grantham from Clark's Plot Nutrients. It sure is. And uh, he killed this gobbler just a few days ago in Alabama. So we want to say congratulations to him. I was to say, I was hoping you would say Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, they'll be on their way to see you in the morning. Yes, no, right. I'm just kidding. And uh, here's another familiar oh. face. This is Devin Faircloth. He's done it again. And, uh, Randall Haley put him on right. it. That's right. Randall put him on another I'm one. And, and Devin got it done. So congratulations, Devin, on that nice bird that he got this past weekend. Yeah, he gets ahead he's of us every year. Us. <laughs> and then right here on the end, this is uh, Kevin Patton sent us this picture of his son, Cody, uh, with a nice bird that he got on juvenile weekend that he called in himself. So we want to say congratulations to And I understand to, this to young man well. has been practicing. He, to call yeah. all year and he finally got an opportunity to he go did, by himself. And he made good of it. He did. So awesome congratulations job. to him on that. Some nice birds. You send your pictures to us here at 474 James Robertson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219. Or simply Facebook would be the best way. That's always it. Just we just get quicker that on way. Facebook. And, yeah. and talk to us. Tell us a little story about what's going on. Um, you know, we'd like to share that with other folks. Yeah, yeah, we love to, to hear the stories and we love to share them as yeah. well. So, well, we have with us tonight we have uh, Bubba Spicker and Dayton Blair, and I know Mount Juliet can rest peaceful tonight <laughs> since we have at least till nine o'clock. <laughs> at least till nine o'clock. At least till we get but, back uh, uh, off interstate. Bubba, high winds, and and because we rarely talk about techniques, and I want to talk more about techniques tonight. Because I think that helps out more people than than talking about just the outlook. Yeah. High winds usually causes birds to be kind of quiet. They don't yeah, talk a lot. They'll be lock jawed for the most part, but they're still going to be just like the the rain. You know, it push them to the fields. So I like to find a field, or I like to find just like if I'm fishing something to break the wind. Right. So be an eddy of trees or something shooting out of the woods. But they'll be on the on the leeward side. Yeah, they'll be on the downwind yeah. side. On the downwind side of that field. And, and so you can alleviate a whole lot of issues if you'll just keep it in mind that even with how much, is it not true though? I mean, Bubba, come on. When the sun comes up, the birds are on the ground. They're feet. They got to eat. Well, <laughs> I hunted a spot on the backside of Cedar Forest one time, some private land. Rain come up, and it got to be 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and I, we hadn't killed anything. I was like, well, dang, I'm going to the house. Walked under this cedar tree, had the darndest gobbler you ever seen flew out of that thing. Both of us <laughs> took a dookie at the same time. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Thank you for being yeah. there. <laughs> but, you yeah. know, it's Got uh, it straightened out. It does. I'm it does so flustered now, I can't even speak. Yeah, yeah, that's right. my train of thought. <laughs> yeah. it, it, you know, oh, it's hard man. to imagine. But That's even though rain, now you and I both know, uh, rain, you now know. Randall Haley came on here and he said, well, he said it on Facebook. He said, it doesn't matter if it's raining, I'm still going, because as soon as it quits, I'm going to be in the field yeah. on them. They'll head to a field, and like you were talking about wind, and for me, when it's windy, and, and Bubba hit on fields, I agree, but a lot of times I'll walk around and edge check field because you're not going to call them. I mean, you can try, but you're not going to call you're them. Gonna get but what I've noticed a lot of times, the birds, they'll get out and they'll strut in that wind on the edge of those tree lines, and they cannot hear you. It's a great time to spot and stalk um, in that wind. But now in the rain, I usually will just stick to a field and wait till they, because they'll be out there when that rain stops. Is, now Bubba, he's, he's got a great point here, and I, I like to harp on that just a little bit. When Whenever you've got, high winds, 
because the leaves are rustling, and, you know, so you're not going to make any excessive noise other than what they're already hearing. Is it truly a great time to start scouting for new places, something you might not have known about, maybe a strutting zone, uh, maybe a place where uh, they're doing the dusting, you know, but I think dusting doesn't happen until a little bit later when the warmer weather yeah, starts. Yeah, and all the bugs get back out. The yeah. bugs come back out, you're right. Uh, but isn't that a, is it a great time to do that? Yeah, you can. You won't be in, as intrusive on them because, like he, he stated, you know, they just can't hear you. No. And it's also a good time to get your old ninja sneak on. <laughs> yeah. You see <laughs> one out there in that field. It and is. You know, the t a lot of the wildlife management areas are full of them. Yeah. People don't really take advantage of their what the state has to offer. I mean, it is absolutely full of them on WMA property. Yeah, WMAs are you, full of them. You can be yes. fishing out and about, running around, yep. and turkeys gobble every morning everywhere you go. But you got to make sure where you're at, your boundaries, check your maps, yep. make sure you're... A, but they have a lot of different ways of doing that now. I mean, you, they've got these apps that you can get that will show you the the, exactly. the legal property, you know, the state mm -hmm. property. And, and It'll court. even show you, if you got a cell phone, where you are as opposed yeah. to where that boundary yeah. is. Yeah. 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 I think you know, 1X hunts and hunts stand both of Yeah, they'll both do it for you. Mm -hmm. now, and it's like anything else. It, it, it is human operated so you know you don't want to rely on it not fully just a thousand percent but yeah, it'll tell you where you I wouldn't be walking that green and, <laughs> and white area too much That's right. I'd be, be yeah. more into the green yeah. if I was and be walking. looking for signs you know yeah. be looking yeah. for signs but but you are right a lot of people don't take, don't advantage, take advantage of, of what's out there uh, especially around the water here's a great question is it legal Dayton Blair to be fishing with a 12 gauge in your boat and call in a turkey to the edge of the water. Is it legal to take him? Is it legal to harvest him? I think that's part of, as uh, long as your boat's not got the trolling motor going or if you're anchored or something like that, but you cannot have your trolling motor on or the big motor cruising up and down the banks looking for the animal. You're exactly right. You have got to be not powered, anchored. Cannot be under power. Cannot be yep. under power. And power is also considered, ladies and gentlemen, wind power. Hey, oh, what yeah, if I'm tied to the back of Brad's Cabin. boat and he's pulling me? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're gonna get know. you both. They're probably <laughs> gonna get you <laughs> and me both. Yeah, and but, all I mean, you know what I mean. But, but no, you but, cannot. But and no, that's you're even, right. That's but, from squirrel hunting to anything of that nature. A deer, deer, everything. squirrel, anything. But, but you can. You it hear is that legal. bird gobbling? Shut that boat down. He's over to the bank and get out. That's what I And check your phone, like you said, to make sure it's a legal area. It's because right. a lot of the lakes and area, everybody in Tennessee, some of it's state park, some of it's huntable. So make sure you double check. Uh -huh. You don't want to meet any of the guys. The men that, in green. The men in green. <laughs> Jim Hooper will find you. I don't care where you at. <laughs> He'll hunt you down. He has got eyes everywhere. everywhere. Hey, listen, he's sleeping right now. And there's, he's got satellites up there that program to find every piece of corn or anything you think you're getting away That's with. Right. That's right. You know what I mean? So. Hey, the yellow acres have got to be up by now. That's yeah, right. But you know, here's now, here's yeah. the luxury of that. At least we don't have to worry about it. They're there if we need them. Anybody can call any time to get what they need from the TWA. They can. They do get a big bad rap from a lot of people, but they do the best they can do with what they have yep. as of right now. And our license go up here and there, but it's okay. It's a resource that has to be done for future hunting, yep. for hunting and fishing and everything for the kids. It's just something that has to be done. It is, and people got to understand too, which we've hit on before, but. We are funded by license sales in the state of Tennessee. That's right. So it's it, we don't we're not paying taxes that fund this stuff like like you hear these guys. Well, they it's forty dollars in right. such right. such state. Well, yeah, but they paid five hundred something dollars in taxes. Right. We that do went get to that some money from fund. taxes though. The we do, but it's, it's fall, very little. Very, but we right. do. Very we little. get a little bit. But yeah. We can't say that we don't get any. We, and he, we you know, and this is something else. A lot of people don't know this. You can go to the Corps of Engineers. I'm gonna switch channels real quick. But you can go don't to you Corps, switch this Listen, you can go to you can go to the Corps of Engineers and apply for a, a, a application to go put fish markers out in the lakes and yeah, do it the right way and, like and brush that. piles. And you get volunteer time for that. Yeah. So it's something that there's a lot of things going on that they offer. The Corps does and the TWA that people that want to get into something can do. It's just, you know. Yeah. It's out there. You it's just got to take advantage of it. You just got to want to make That's sure right. it lasts for years, you know. There's nothing no worse than going over there fishing at these lakes and you go under a bridge and you just see 
40 foot of trash just well, sitting on the bank and they bring it with them and they leave it. I mean, I plugged one of the whole lake my whole life. There's places over there at Priest, you can go right now, and there's 400 yards of trash up in the woods. You and I both been uh -huh. there. And nobody cares. I mean, they don't see it out of sight, out of mind. So why does it matter? I mean, you're going to drink water out of the water system, and all the water bottles, all the trash is going right down the system. I mean, so it don't make no sense to me how we can't get a Clean Water Act or somebody step up and help us get everything thoughts. going. Hold those thoughts. we got yeah. to move on and do the part of the show. Well, we're going to run over here and do our Product of the Week segment. This week's Product of the Week has been brought to you by our friends at County Fork Outdoors. You can go down and see Ryan and, and his fine folks over here at the Donaldson Plaza Shopping Center or going up to see Joel and the rest of the family at the Big Rock Market right there at the Center Hill Dam exit and uh, that weather's getting right to get on up there. It is. And, it is. Uh, so i tell you what, I've got something neat tonight. I like these. Tonight I've got something for the ladies. Oh, I thought Nate was wearing Well, he can if he <laughs> wants to. Don't but, try to uh, start with these, night. And I know we're not totally zoomed in, but these are, these are earrings, which they, this gonna, they make some fine products. This is just some earrings that they make. Uh, this is from Spent Round Designs, and we met them at the NWTF. Yes, we did. Uh, Andy Coker actually had heard of them. We went over there to buy some earrings for, for his girlfriend. But point being this, I've, I've got with me tonight the 20 gauge earrings and some nine millimeter. And what these are, these are actual spent round casings that they use to make jewelry and things out of. And uh, we're going to have some more products from them later on as well, but you can find them on Facebook or you can go to spentrounddesigns.com and check them out there. And they've got, like I said, they've got lots of products. Um, they're, they're fine people. They're very, very nice people when we met them. And uh, we look forward to uh, having some more things from them for you guys in the future too. So trying to get something going for the ladies here. So awesome. we appreciate them and, and uh, be sure to go and give them a shout on Facebook or contact them on their website. That's right. Hey, we're going to take another quick break, visit some of our fine sponsors and help bring this show to you each and every week. And remember, if you're given a choice, choose one of our sponsors if you love the show as we do. We'll be right back with more Southern Wizard Water. 